Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. How y'all been? Good evening to you. God bless every single one of you. Hope y'all having a great day. It's Wednesday. It's, it's getting closer to the weekend again already, so that's a good thing. Uh, I got to update on the wind impacts uh, from these investors that's going to be happening. We all know there's a lot of twists and turns going on. And I also got the next wave uh, that's coming. I'm sure you'll update what's going to happen to that. Uh, will it go more westerly and be a problem for the east coast, or it could be just a little spin-up? Uh, now, I do show there is going to be a stall that's going to be in the Florida Panhandle area for up to four days, so there could be a flash flooding problem as well. So we want to keep our close eye on that and see if the model changes. Uh, my brother is actually going to a uh, hospital. Uh, if any of you out there ever had pancreatitis, uh, just so those others know, that's where your body starts digesting your pancreas. Uh, can you let me know in the comment section what to expect or what's going on because he's scared and he don't know what to expect from this and God bless him. I, I really uh, would appreciate it if y'all give him uh, a blessing so it, he, he relaxed a little bit. It would help. I do appreciate every single one of y'all. Now let's get into this real quick. This is the severe thunderstorms that you'll be having for the next 48 hours. Uh, as you can see, starting uh, right now at 2 and 2 p.m. in the afternoon, Florida and the East Coast, South Carolina, North Carolina, and some of Tennessee, is getting severe storms. Uh, matter of fact, if you look earlier, you can see these over here. This is where those water spouts uh, that they have seen off the coast. So that was something sp kind of spectacular, but it was scary for others. Uh, Miami, you'll be getting some more storms all afternoon and north of you, so be careful for that as well as blow-ups over South Carolina all the way to Virginia. So y'all watch these storms tonight. As a matter of fact, for the next 48 hours, you're going to see them pop, and then you're going to see part of the uh, Invest's uh, trails come on in. It's still kind of too far away to see exactly the Invest themselves, but you can clearly see the rain bands come twisting uh, on in, and it will be more storms to come, as well for Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama. Y'all need to keep watch for these. Now you look right there, that's again 5 p.m. tomorrow uh, for Florida. You got some more severe storms as well as everywhere else. And the bands are starting to whip in. So watch out for these severe storms. I will update it for you. There's another bad pockets right there at 7 p.m. So that's not good. Uh, I'll do one of these in the morning in a little more detail for you. The last few clicks that we have. A lot of bad storms, guys. Definitely in this region. Now, in your precipitation, you can see the heaviest part of the rainfall, so you can really tell where this rain is going to go. And just for comparison, as you know, we have been storms on the southeast, also in Florida today. And this is what they look like. Plus, there's a pop up coming at 7 p.m., and you'll see a pow, another pop up later tonight. So you can clearly see where the heaviest uh, rainfall is with these storms. And these little light pinks here are also good flare ups of not severe, severe weather, like with the hail course. But it's still flash uh, flooding heavy rainfall if it moves slow enough. Now what I'm showing is that this comes right in and you'll see two big wave bands before the storms. Right here. You, you see wave bands come on in and then it's going to come in and it's going to stall out. The, the jet stream is so strong that the trough is going to chew it. It's going to slam this way towards the trough and then it, that when that hits a trough coming down with a spin it's going to cause it to just spin and sit for a while well that while comes out to be four days and i'm talking all the way from the edge of, of florida all the way towards jacksonville so you need to be aware of this rainfall now as it comes in you can see the, the, the wave bands come on in before the storms and you're looking at 97l over here and 98l over here let me bring it in a little better for you now as these storms move in with all the, the rain that it has with it. You can see what, exactly what happens when it hits. Now 97 tries to form up and that's pretty much its best shot for any kind of formation uh, right here but it, it gets torn up immediately. Uh, but when 98 moves in it gets a little bit more of a saw blade of, uh, effect going on that you can see and then you'll see exactly where the stall is going to be when it hits because it goes pal right there. It gets a nice slam down, boom, little hook right there in Callaway. And then we're talking the very beginning of this heavy rainfall. We're not going to go from the outer edges, which is already on land. Uh, we won't talk that far. We'll talk the minimum of what could be. And we'll say just right, right there at that point. At 9 a.m. on the 26th, let's go a little further. 
get it all the way into color. There you go, 1 p.m. on the 26th. So as this rolls around, and I have a lot of people that's, that's in this area as well. As it rolls around, it's going to sit there and just be like a stalled low. And it's going to dangle all that moisture. And then 97 is going to whip back around. If you saw my last video, it hits and the trough tears it up so much it pulls it and it comes across later. Uh, it's actually going to give it a little more spin and it's just going to sit there. And a total of right there when it leaves, you can even go a little bit before just to be minimum. And that's the 30th at 1 p.m. So I can count. That's uh, four days, people. I mean, that's the minimum. Four days of a stalled low is going to happen out of this invest. Uh, so far is the, the update with this. And it will start to get a little more strength as it gets off the coast. Uh, but it is still going away. It's still going to be on the same track. You can see everything good from this angle right here. You can see 97 and 98. You'll see them spin up. And you'll also see... The next wave which i'm showing is just going to spin and burn himself out like a little firework and it isn't going to do nothing we already seen what happens there i'll show you that again in a second just want to show you this wave and it's going to come and spin upwards from that dominant high and just get taken away and this so far is showing that it's not going to come anywhere close and if it's already uh, and for the people that's over here and i have people in poland in this area this is going to burn up it's not going to last it's just what it's going to do real quick, just a quick flare. But if it comes earlier, it could get shredded even sooner. Uh, but ever since this thing left off of there, I saw the spaghetti models did a big U. Like it wasn't sure because it was, it was like spinning too much uh, with an upward tilt to it. So we'll see if that falls into effect. We'll see if that goes further west. It's still too far, of course. But that's just what we're showing right now. But you can see these uh, flowing up. Just watch them go. And as it goes into the gulf, it's going to do that, that spin, like a, like a stalled low effect. And the next wave is going to pass by before this even leaves itself. So that's what we have right now for it, as far as the rainfall. It looks like some flash flooding. Uh, be careful, definitely, in this area. All the way from New Orleans, all the way to Jacksonville, I would worry about this thing. Because when it comes in and does this little stalling thing, it's going to be a lot of flash flooding. It, it could be some uh, tropical storm winds if it gains any more strength on its way. And it's not going to leave until four days later. So that's going to be a lot of rainfall. Now the 10 meter winds, this will give you the impact winds. This is what tears everything up and messes everything around. And that looks like the strongest point of a point. Uh, tropical depression. I show that's the strongest strength you're going to get. All this pinks is the 20s. Uh, as it gets into the brighter of the pink, it'll be the higher of the 20s. Now, as we move around and see what the exact impacts could be from this model, uh, the most would be a little bit on the way out on the east side. I'm, I'm sorry, on the west side of Puerto Rico. And it looks like it's in the 20s, mid 20s at best. And all this is just 30s of winds. This is very light winds. This is not going to be a problem. Big, but not a problem. Now, so far for Florida, this is a whole big mess coming down here. And you see it's all in the 20s. The bright is the, the high 20s. And as it comes in, you don't see any yellows, which is hurricane. You don't even see oranges, which are 50s and 60s. Now, as it moves in, you can see that it's, all the 20s is just hidden. It's 10 over land. At best, up here in the top, you can see that it's 14 to 15 around that color. It's getting pretty strong it's getting up to 16 and 17 miles per hour winds that's still nothing that's still a strong sea breeze then it goes light then it goes a little bit more strong winds right there again then it goes light and then it's going to be some more in the teens as it leaves throughout this whole event of the four days uh, just curled up in a corner uh, in the gulf then it's gone clear skies back same for y'all over here in Tallahassee. That's where Sebastian, a uh, friend of ours, is in, in the community. Sebastian Weather Channel. Be safe, brother. Uh, it's all going to be in the 20s. And that's a little peak right there. Was that mid-22? It's, mid <laughs> it's not even mid. It's, that's all you got. And over land, you got the blues. That's it. You got pockets of blues. That's in the teens. That's It's going to be a breeze. Just watch out. You know, I don't see no damage in winds, but there's going to be some flash flooding. Just remember, there's a lot of precipitation coming with this. Okay. 
Well, there you go. That's, that's your update is so far as of now uh, on the storm. But I would worry about that four-day stall. That's something we want to keep our eye on, make sure that that don't stay the same. Cause that don't look too healthy. Now, leave me a comment in the section and tell me what you think about that other wave. Do you think it's just going to spin out, or do you think it could track further west and maybe be an east coast problem? Tell me or your opinion. I'm curious what y'all thinking out there. I appreciate y'all taking the time watching my videos. I know y'all got things to do and everybody's busy these days. So God bless you. Thank you for the help. Corinthians 4. Let a man so appraise us as being subordinates of Christ and stewards of sacred secrets of God. Besides, in this case, what is it looked for in stewards is for a man to be found faithful? Now to me, it is a very trivial matter that I should be examined by you or by a human tribunal, even I do not examine myself, for I am not conscious of anything against myself. Yet by this I am not proved righteous. But he that examines me is Jehovah. Hence do not judge anything before the due time until the Lord comes, who will both bring the sacred things of darkness to light and make the counsels of the hearts manifest and then each one will have his praise come to him from god amen god bless all of you i appreciate y'all hope you all have a great day uh actually uh my, my older brother he's going into the hospital he has pancreatitis uh, he's in a lot of pain he can't eat for days so he's, he's a little nervous about it so i'd appreciate it if y'all can throw a little prayer now, if you made it to the end of the video, that way I know it. And thanks for your praise and your blessings for my brother because he, he, he really uh, use him. He's, he's, he's pretty scared.